With all the time we're spending at home these days, there is a much bigger emphasis on keeping our food and water supply safe from coronavirus. News 8's Lamar Abrams has more on the new warnings and measures being taken. Barron's Market here in San Diego is the latest in a growing list of grocery stores installing barriers between customer and cashier. But protective measures don't stop when you check out. We all know by now grocery shopping is an essential activity, but unless you're careful, experts say you can still bring coronavirus home from the store. And I'm going to help you adapt those techniques to decrease your risk of contracting coronavirus when you go out and get your food. In a 15 minute YouTube video, Michigan based family doctor Jeffrey Van Wingen shares a technique often used in surgery, sterile technique. Step one, divide the table into two, half for dirty bags, half for sanitized items, like that box of cereal. It's a box that has cardboard, so we know that coronavirus can likely live on this surface for 24 hours, but on the inside, no human hands have touched this for more than a few days. But there is one thing in your house that's already sanitized for you, your tap water. Well, I think some people are a little afraid that the COVID-19 virus may come through the water system. San Diego um, Water Board uh, Operations uh, Director Jim uh, Fisher wants people to know water. the water supply is free of coronavirus because it's heavily treated and monitored. When we do treat water, we have multiple processes. Some, some will remove the bacteria and viruses, others will disinfect it so we can use chlorine, we use ozone, um, chlorine dioxide, other type of disinfectants to um, kill or inactivate viruses and bacteria. From food and water safety during the pandemic to COVID-19 etiquette at the grocery store. Stores across the country are installing protective shields to prevent the spread of germs at the checkout line. The see-through barriers just went up at Barron's Market in North Park, San Diego. Outside, workers continued handing out gloves to people in line. Shoppers waiting to get in, sticking to the six-foot rule, giving us a thumbs up from a distance. Precautions for ourselves and everyone around us. Some grocery stores around the country have announced their workers have contracted the virus. Thank you, Lamore.